Hi guys. I'm known as Blood Doll, and I play Diablo 2 and Diablo 2 Resurrected, specializing in assassins. In this video, I'm going to show you the build that I came up with and have been playing since 1.10 about 18 years ago, and it's my favorite PVM build to date, the Trap Kick Assassin. I'll show you my favorite setup as well as some alternatives. So as with every build, it's going to depend on your personal preference on how you stat, skill, and equip your character. In the past 18 years, many people have copied or discovered independently this build, and now it's one of the most popular and effective builds that there is for PBM. So as a result, there are innumerable different stats, skill, and gear choices that are possible, and none of them are wrong. Some people like more life, some people like more magic finds, some people like the mo to get the most damage. For me, I value versatility, durability, and mobility, so my build goals focus on those things. So these are the things I try to get on all my assassin builds, not just this trap kick assassin. And I roughly try to get them in this order, so res, damage reduce, block, faster hit recovery, fast attack speed, which if you don't know, trap casting goes off of IAS, so um, I get the faster cast rate primarily for Mind Blast, uh, get it at least to 27 for Mind Blast, and then if I'm teleporting, then um, get it higher uh, to those break points. So teleporting, you can use Enigma or Teleport Amulet, rarely I, I'll use a stave for PVM, but that's what we want faster cast rate for. And then 40% crushing blow and the attack rating to deliver it um, for with kicking. And then lastly, cannot be frozen. For those of you that have seen me on Twitch and just wondering what I use or aspire to use, I will show you. So this is what I, I try to get every season. Um, I try to get a, a 2 sin 20 faster cast rate circlet or um, or sometimes I'll, I'll use a griffins and I use griffins for uh, for the faster cast rate not for the the minus enemy lightning resistance or the lightning skill damage traps are considered minions and so currently those don't work on Diablo 2 and unless they decide to change that in D2R it should remain the same so I usually sham my circlet or or my griffins and um, I use a burr with spike for the res faster cast rate and crushing blow I use a, a two sin either 12 or 17 faster cast rate amulet depending on if I'm using a circlet or griffins that season I use enigma I use a Burr Storm Shield because I want to get to the 50% DR. That's the cap for DR. I use Upped Goblin Toes for Crushing Blow. I use Faster Cast Rate Rings if I need the Faster Cast Rate. If not, then sometimes I'll use a Soge or a Ra Rage and Frost, uh, Raven Frost, in which case I wouldn't need the Sham and I would just shale my Circlet. I use Tea Gods for Hardcore, always Tea Gods. And then I use crafted blo crafted crushing blow gloves if I uh, can craft a decent pair that season. So two martial arts and ten crushing blow are the things that I look for the most. And that's if I don't need mage fist to get to my faster cast rate break points. Uh, then I use a combination of trap faster hit recovery and trap life grand charms. And so um and then faster hit recovery resist and faster hit recovery or life uh all resist small charms so if i can shale my helm then i only need two faster hit recovery grand charms and one small charm to get to the 48 percent faster hit recovery um break point if i can't shale my helm then i end up needing four faster hit recovery um grand charms and so it just depends on um, how, uh, how I can get to the 48% break point, like I said. On Weapon Switch, I use a F Circle Call to Arms so that I can Blade Fury with it. And I use an, an Ummed 
storm shield on this side as well and I do that so that I can block and have decent res and damage reduced on that side as well so that I um, I'm not more vulnerable when I'm either using Blade Fury or Call to Arms. And so for Ubers, I, I switch out my Trap Grand Charms and I use Res Grand Charms and Small Charms. And I use uh, Dracul's, G-Face, Raven Frost, Dwarf Star, and Rising Sun. And so my Merc, so either Fort... Or Guardian Angel and Gaze or Indariel's Visage. Ideally, these would be Ethereal and then Infinity. For stats, I use um, Strength Enough for Gear, Dex Enough for 75% Block with Storm Shield, and then the rest of Vita. The skills, so I do one to Cloak, one to Mind Blast, uh, one to Shadow Master. I get one to Burst of Speed and one to fade so i use fade to teleport long distances so that curses don't last as long i don't really use it for the dr or resist on this character for those of you that don't know there uh, it, it isn't stated here but fade gives and uh, gives a percent damage reduced based on its level and then it also reduces curse duration as well as skill shrine duration so like I said, I just use that when I'm teleporting, like, uh, to the Bale Throne Room, that kind of thing. For Kick, I get it to multiples of six with gear. So one point um, is worth it, but ideally you'd get it to, to multiples of six, like 12, 18, 24. And then I put the, uh, the rest of my points into lightning sentry and its synergies and then the points left over i put it into fire blast um after getting blade fury i should say so i i use blade fury for certain situations like if mobs are too dangerous for me to kick especially early on and then um also uh for nilithak because you can name lock him with it and then keep track of him so that you don't think that he's dead and then he ends up killing you with corpse explosion and um, then the other thing I can get mana back from it um, if if I'm doing like bail runs and um, as long as I have mana steel and something else usually I try to get it on a ring then um, then I can refill mana with it uh, so then what else um, I, I think that's it. That's mostly um, that's my gear for this character. Um, if you want, you don't have to put the points to fire blast. If you if you wanted, you could put more points to kick. Again, trying to get it in multiples of six. If you wanted a stronger shadow to tank for you, you could put the points there. Um, if you wanted to use a spirit and not go block, then you could put points to fade. And in that case, you would need to make sure that you were hitting your IAS goals to hit max frame trap playing and kicking. And um, you wouldn't put decks in that case. So um, I, I like this build because it feels fast and aggressive. It does have lower trap damage though, if you can see on the side. It's got about 8k trap damage. Um, or I guess 8.6 but and that's with ideal gear uh, so with lower trap damage it does require positioning so that means like blobbing mobs into a big um, a big blob and then and you do that with mind blast and then jumping on bosses strategic kicking and then death sentry once there are enough corpses and um, so it's not just like mindless lay down traps. You have to, you have to, you know, actually use some strategy to, to do damage. But I like that. I like that play style. Some people don't care as much about, um, you know, teleporting fast or having crushing blow. And they'd rather have higher trap damage. So for that, I thought it would be um, good to show a more um, traditional gear for this build. The trap kick build.
So this character uses a, a Shaco, or I have it using a Shaco right now. I'm obviously fond of Shacos, Shacos, however you say it. I put a jaw in it, um, and I did that not because it's that great of an idea over Ist or Shale or Burr or whatever thing you're needing for your build, but I just wanted to uh, bring up that um, some characters get more life from perfect rubies and some get more life from jaw. An assassin with three life per vita gets more from jaw. So um, other things I'm using on this character right now are Mara's, uh, Hodo, Enigma, uh, Sham, Storm Shield. You could also do Um if you wanted to use a Raven Frost. Um, I'm using Upped Goblin Toes again and um, if you wanted you if you wanted to do uh, less kick kicking and you wanted to, to do more magic find you could also you, you could use like war travelers up to war travelers you it is going to really weaken your kick if you if you don't have any crushing blow but you could i mean like i said you could forego kicking altogether if you wanted to just focus on getting more magic find on your gear and um in that case the, I had the, the skills the same way, but in that case you just wouldn't get kick and you'd put more into fire blast or whatever else you wanted. It's, it's all a balancing act based on preferences. Um, again, uh, I use T-Gods and if, if you weren't playing hardcore or if you weren't going to play near souls, then obviously you don't have to have it. You could use arachnids uh, for the skills or uh, in the faster uh, cast rate. And um, I use Mage Foot Fist on, on this iteration. And that's to get to the 65 faster cast rate breakpoint. You can actually get to 10105 faster cast rate uh, if, you, if you use a Circlet or Griffins again and um, using Mage Fist or Arachnids and then two faster cast rate rings or a 20 faster cast rate amulet so you don't have to use you don't have to use this stuff again it, it just is meeting those break points meeting those um, build goals and um, another option if you if you wanted to stay like this with the and this is the um, 65 faster cast rate break point but then you wanted to teleport on this side that would get you to 105 but you would be teleporting with not 75% block. You'd be teleporting with low block and bad damage reduce. So I, I don't do that on, um, on hardcore, but that would be probably completely fine on, on softcore. Uh, Mark gear is the same. Again, you know, Ford or Guardian Angel, Vamp Gazer, Indarils, and um, Infinity stats are the same the strength for gear, dex for 75% block, the rest of Vita skills are the same. Um, so one, the, the utility skills and, um, you know, the mind blast cloak, shadow master and burst of speed and fade and kick to multiples of six. Again, this, uh, is actually, a multiple of six once you do battle command see and then uh, the rest of fire blast or your preference um, so I actually I skilled this one as a fire trap assassin just so you could see a different option so uh, all of these built you know all of this these gear options could be changed to fire trap instead of lightning so in that case you would max wake of fire and its synergies fire blast and wake of inferno and then you would use primarily wake of fire and death sentry uh, wake of inferno has pathing issues it it can uh, hit well if something is really stationary but i i don't recommend using it um routinely so um again uh max wake of fire its synergies and then um i I usually get a, a lower kick. So if you saw on my last assassin, I got it to 24. In this case, I got it to 18. And if you weren't close to 18, you could just leave it at 12. 
and um, and then I put the rest of my points after death sentry I put them to lightning sentry so uh, again maxing wake of fire its synergies death sentry and um, and then rest of points to lightning sentry and the reason I do that is that fire traps with kick and lightning sentry are way more versatile than fire traps alone so you can do places like cows ancient tunnels mausoleum crypt all really fast and there's no place that you can't kill it'll just take longer than lightning uh, if you went lightning trap instead of fire trap primarily so the next variation i wanted to talk about is dual claw So for this, um, I like using Griffins, and again, that's for the faster cast rate, and I, I shammed it again. I uh, am using faster cast rate rings and a 20 faster cast rate amulet, and with those, I can get to the 65 faster cast rate breakpoint. Uh, I'm using Enigma. The main difference in this build is, of course, using Dual Claw. So you want to try to get five or six lightning sentry claws and then other skills you'd want to look for for PVM are weapon block and fade and then fire blast or whatever. Um, a note on the claw type. So the type, um, the speed of your trap laying and kicks is based on the average weapon speed of your two claws when you're using dual claw. Uh, there is a bug in Diablo 2 for dual wielding where you could put a, uh, a slower claw on your main side and a fast claw on your boot side and then and then pick up uh, your your main claw and you would glitch the IS to be faster. Since this has been fixed in D2R, so in, in, unless they've changed something um, since the beta, then uh, you'll, you'll want to look for faster claw types than in the past. So in the past, you could, like I said, you could use a slower claw type and glitch it so that you weren't, um, you weren't being penalized as much. But now you really want to look for faster claw types in D2R. And I have this, um, this chart here so if you look at the weapon speed which again is the average of your claws um, then you can see that with burst of speed you won't need any additional IAS for the faster claw types uh, but if you can't glitch the slower claw types then um, you can see that they would start it would start being much harder to get max frame trap laying and kicks even with burst of speed. So I used a, a fast weapon type for this example and I burned it twice. Um, one thing about offhand claws, um, besides the the um, the fact that they'll they'll now uh, they'll, it'll matter a lot more for um, for the trap laying speed and kicking speed um, on your offhand weapon the a lot of things don't work so IAS doesn't work attack rating crushing blow ignore target defense uh, lots of things don't work on your offhand claw things that do work are the skills resist faster hit recovery life mana stats um, so you, you want to be careful that you're not putting um, that you're not putting things that won't benefit your build on your offhand claw. Uh, again, I use up goblin toe boots, and that's for the the crushing blow. Uh, you could actually use gore riders for the faster run walk if you wanted, since this build has more crushing blow. And then lastly, I'm using crushing blow gloves, and that gives a really nice 70% crushing blow on this version. 
Um, you could also, if you wanted, get rid of, of these and use, um, and, and just do like chance guards and war travelers because you have a decent amount of crushing blow here, then you could do that and you could have pretty decent magic find. Um, this character obviously has very little damage reduced. The only damage reduced is here on the Enigma. And you could, uh, if you wanted, you can use stuff like Crown of Ages and Verdungos if you if you preferred. Um, but you can also just use Fade, and so that's what I chose to do on, on this version. So, um, I, I got level 32 Fade with gear, again, with Battle Command, it'll go to 32. And then with my Burr in Enigma, that gets me to the 40% percent damage reduced that I, I like to get as a bare minimum. Um, it also lets you, if you wanted to, um, you could, you could teleport on your, on your spirit side and again, get to the 102 faster cast rate. Your block is going to be awful, but, um, yeah, it'll be like, 26% but you will have decent damage reduce at least and um, so that that's an option uh, Merc gear again would be the same and um, the stats are a little different so strength enough for gear um, you can actually most of the time when I have a dual claw assassin build I have a lot less strength this one just happens to have uh, enough, like I think I only put three base points to strength and um, and it was fine. Dex, an enough uh, to, to wear your claws and then I actually, uh, usually people just on dual claw assassins, you'll just do like hardly any strength, you know, just enough for gear, no Dex and Vita. I, I like to get my attack rating a little bit higher so I end up putting about 50 points into, into Dex and then uh, and then just the rest of Vita. Um, the you do get pretty decent life with dual claw, by the way. Usually around thirty five hundred to forty five hundred. So if if you like a lot of life, this might be something you like. Uh, skills. So again, the utility skills. You know, cloak, mind blast, shadow master, burst of speed. Um, and then for this time, I get fade to 32 with gear and then I after getting my my kick to where I like it and again it has to be kind of low like 12 or 18 and after maxing lightning sentry and its synergies then I I put the rest to, to weapon block and that's just to, to try and get it as close to 60% as possible and that's again why I I say that you should try and get weapon block on your on your claws if you can because it helps um not use as as many points there and um again it's all preference if you wanted to do gear with damage reduced you could do that and then put your points instead of getting any in in fade you could just do fire blast or more kick and so the last one I wanted to talk about, or I think there's two more, uh, I wanted to talk about a more kick-centric build. Maybe. So my favorite version of this one is actually not on her. So I um, I like Camp, Sham, Griffins, uh, and I like Atmas. I like Burr, Stormlash, Enigma, and Um Storm Shield, up to Goblin Toes, uh, or you could use Gores again because you have decent crushing blow, and um, and that would give you faster run walk. T Gods because I always use T Gods. And then, uh, in this case, faster cast rate rings and mage fist to get to the 65 faster cast rate breakpoint. Again, you could do the thing with teleporting on um, on your call to arms side 
spirit side. Uh, but you'll not only, in this case, you'll not only have bad block, not as bad as before, but bad block, but you, you won't have much damage reduced at all. You'll have like eight. So again, probably not the best idea for hardcore. Um, so stats are strength enough for gear, um, dex for 75% block with storm shield. And then the rest of Vita. Skills are the same. So, you know, utility, your um, Cloak of Shadows, Mind Blast, Shadow, uh, Burst of Speed, Fade if you want it. I didn't get it in this one. And then, um, and then Kick. In this case, I, I maxed Lightning Sentry and its synergies, and instead of putting like any to Fire Blast, I maxed my kick, so I would have um, six kicks with my Battle Command. So, so in this case, I, I can have six kicks with level 30. Um, a th few things to point out about this build, or this version of the build um, res is hard to get so not only did I um my storm shield instead of burring it but I am actually using some more res um, small charms and um, faster hit recovery is also hard to get so I ended up having to do four faster hit recovery grand charms instead of the two in a small charm and to get to um, to get to the the 30 kick the level 30 kick with six kicks i um i ended up using two martial arts charm, charms um if you if you used g face which is another option with this if you if you um, were willing to give up your faster cast rate uh, then that does have nice faster hit recovery on it in which case you wouldn't need any faster hit recovery charms if you shaled it um, Another thing is you wouldn't need martial arts grand charms if you didn't use Atmas, if you used like Maras instead, or um, or even a, a faster cast rate, a two sin faster cast rate amulet, then you wouldn't need um, these charms either. You could just do all trap. But um, again, these are all just whatever you want, whatever your preference is. And um, I, I do really love the the combination of, of static and amp though so um, it I mean so stormlash does static and um, it does it in a in a, a good radius around you and and then if things are amped and like partially damaged from the static then you just kick them down real quick and then um, use your death sentry and it it's very effective uh if you if you didn't want to use atmos though other options if you wanted to proc other things i mean you could use maras and then you could use dracools um there's like i said there's this is my favorite setup with the atmos but there's a lot of different options um and real quick i wanted to just flash this screen before I show the other weapons that you can use. So not everything works with kicks. Um, and so things that, that don't work with kicks are deadly strike, enhanced damage from equipment, like for instance, uh, fortitude. And um, so these things... Um, these things won't work. So when you're, oops, when you're looking at what you're going to use, go away. Uh, you want to remember um, those things. So uh, the things that you can use besides Storm, Storm Lash, so you can use Lawbringer. It procs to crep, and then you don't need to use Atma's uh, and it not only makes your kick do more damage, but it slows everything, so that's nice. The rest in peace does sort of suck because it makes your death sentry uh, not be able to use those corpses. 
um, last wish this one is good to proc life tap and it gives you might and crushing blow azure wrath for the crushing blow and elemental damage beast for the crushing blow and fana uh, rift if you use rift so it procs um it procs frozen orbs whenever you're kicking and so you can use night wings for and a, a cold facet you could also use in your storm shield to make your orbs stronger and so those are some of the options you can use if you want to be more kick centric um lastly what i wanted to talk about was when you don't have godly gear and So I know most of this has been pretty godly gear, pretty like high end stuff. And um, I wanted to, to show that you can still use these build goals when you're uh, when you don't have like your end game high end gear. So uh, these are the this is the type of stuff that uh, I'm, I'm currently calling ghetto, but it's actually kind of nice stuff. Um, this, I mean, if if you are just using stuff that you picked up along the way, walking through the game, and stuff that you bought from the vendor, then that's probably actually ghetto stuff. This is stuff that takes some magic finding, but it's pretty obtainable. So, uh, shale rock stopper, uh, it's awesome for hitting your 48 faster hit recovery goal, and the the res, the damage reduce, very good item. I always try and get a teleport amulet as quick as possible. I try and uh, find a whiz spike as, as soon as I can, and I usually shale it uh, at first. I use an ummed shaft stop uh, for the damage reduce. A rhyme bone shield or grim shield gives really good block, uh, resist, and magic find. And. I'm using upped goblin toes. These aren't upped twice because that's uh, the huge strength requirement. Uh, but it is upped one time. I'm using string of ears, a nagal ring, a faster castrate ring, and then mage fist. Um, on weapon switch, so no call to arms, but importantly, a lower resist wand. So this is this is your crutch before you get infinity. This thing will make you do a lot more damage. Uh, I use Mosers on this side, and that's because usually when I'm on this side, uh, my resistances are low or even negative. So uh, usually I just flash it, uh, cast low resist really quickly, and then switch back. Um, Merc gear. So uh, I often use smoke. I, sometimes I, if I can uh, get damage reduced elsewhere, like if I find a storm shield, I'll, I'll even use smoke. It's very useful. Uh, a gaze, and then insight, or uh, another option is Reaper's Toll, and uh, it's it's really good for the casting Decrepify. And um, stats. Uh, you forgot to say are it's again um, strength enough for gear, dex enough for block, and then the rest to vitality, and and then other things. Skills are the same, so it's just utility. Get you know max your lightning sentry and its synergies, and then um, start putting points in kick and. Uh, a, f a few other options, um, so other things that you could use. I, I'm not sure where it went, but one of my favorite options um, is Crescent Crescent Moon, uh, the Shale Um Tur, and put it in like a phase blade. Uh, it, it casts um, static field, just like Stormlash does, and it's pretty cheap, just needs an Um Rune. So that's a good option. I don't know where it went. It went away. Uh, other things you can use are Flush Ripper. 
This is really good both for kicking and for Blade Fury. Gold Dagger. Like, if you're using this stuff, you probably want to use better stuff. And Magic Find is the way to do it. So, uh, you can use... You can use it on your weapon switch and cast it at the or switch weapons at the last moment on bosses and get your magic find in. Uh, Bartuks for uh, for the skills and for the stats and other things. You can use strength, black, crush flange, Nasher. Those are all good for crushing blow. You can use Barnars or Glimmer Shred. Those are good for the elemental damage that's, that is applied to kicks. Uh, the playstyle is different for this assassin when you're when you have sort of not perfect gear. So for this, you really need to collect um, blob mobs into a ball with mind blast, and then um, put down traps. And instead of putting them inside the blob like you might otherwise, you want to put them in a, like a real far corner. So if you have a blob, then you want to put them in a far corner, your traps and put them all together so that there's like one stream like hitting just a couple mobs and then uh, cast your lower resist on that blob and once those just few mobs that it's hitting are dead then that's when you kick I mean that's when you cast death sentry and then just kick stragglers and bosses only otherwise you're gonna go up and get your ass kicked um, other options for gear besides the weapons um so this is actually vendored so i just was saying that ghetto gear is vendor gear but this is pretty this is probably as good as a uh, rhyme or better um and then what else um as you can see the the build goals are not quite met so you have lower crushing blow the ar is low you have low trap damage and um so they're the build goals are not met but uh the this is still um a safe and effective build in low player games once you get more skills gear then you can just keep improving and um killing faster and in more um player games and so this is what i'm, I'm hoping to get um in the first few days of every new ladder so I hope this video helped someone um, help you guys understand the PVM trap kick assassin better um, you can find me on twitch uh, blood x doll on twitch and I'll try and keep making videos so that you guys can learn more about uh, how to build assassins so thank you for watching.